St. Augustine. It's been way too long, I've been building walls around me. Keep my distance so you never know too much about me. For this trip, we flew into Orlando and drove the two hours to spend the day in St. Augustine. If you are interested in how we spent our day in Orlando and how we rented our car for cheap, we made a whole another video. You can go check it out, we will leave the link down below. Now, let's jump into St. Augustine. your face in it. <laughs> All right. Good morning, everyone. Uh, today we're going to St. Augustine. Woo! First thing, I decided to surprise Tessa and take her on a boat tour. What Are you sleepy? Let's go! However, it was December, so even at its coldest, St. Augustine was still better than what we left back in Cedar Rapids. Are you, are you yawning again? <laughs> What's wrong with you? It's 10.30 in the morning. <laughs> go in, let's go. No more know what if you want to have a good time. No more play around when there's the town across the line. Show me what's inside that soul, I'll let you feel my. We toured with Florida Water Tours. They offer several different kinds of tours, some that highlight the city and others that highlight the wildlife. We elected to take the Dolphin and Wildlife Adventure for $29 per person. Link is in the description. Hop on with us and let's see some dolphins. We are on a dolphin wildlife excursion and we're going to do our best to find some wildlife out there for you, okay? Hey, Tessa. Hi. 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 Hi. Hey, Tessa. 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 Hi. Hey, Tessa.
full of restaurants, bars, candy and ice cream shops, as well as souvenir shops. Tessa, now let's eat. I'm so hungry. We ate at the St. Augustine Seafood Company, one of the most famous seafood restaurants in St. Augustine. We have amazing seafood meals, sandwiches, soups, and more. There is a sit-down restaurant portion, but we opted for the fast food section. However, even the fast food section did not disappoint. This is the one. What do you think? It's really good. And try the sauce. The sauce looks really good. So after we ate, we gotta keep going and keep exploring St. Augustine. So as you know, whatever we go, we have to try ice cream everywhere we go. <laughs> so it's time for some dessert and some ice cream shopping. And when you're in St. Augustine, you cannot miss a visit to Kilwins. It's known for its old-fashioned chocolates and fudge, as well as its ice cream. Which is what I was after. Of course, sharing is caring. I cannot eat without sharing a little bit with Tessa. Hey, what flood did you get? How you doing? Oh, for who? I live with you. <laughs> oh, for your dad. Let's explore some of the history in St. Augustine. Let's go to the fort! Good. Thank you. Thank you. Constructed in 1672, the St. Augustine Fort is known as the oldest colonial fort in the continental United States. It was originally built by the Spanish, but changed hands several times. about this fort is how it was constructed. It is made out of a seashell cement-like mixture, which took 23 years to build start to finish. Can you imagine collecting all of these seashells? This construction took nearly the length of, length of our age. This unique construction made it so the fort never lost a battle. Because of these walls, the fort would easily absorb the shock from cannonballs, but never crumble. Speaking of cannonballs, we were lucky enough to see a cannonball firing demonstration at the fort. These don't happen all the time, but December is a busy season for St. Augustine. After experiencing the fort, we went back to St. George Street for a little shopping. Historical downtown is just a few blocks wide. Everything is very close to each other, so it's easy to walk back and forth from the things you'd like to see. Do you think that we're done with ice cream? You're wrong. Because we just started. So there's another place that we're just gonna try right now. Ooh, I kinda like it. This game you play of catch
by the evening, Tesla was quite cold. So we stopped at City Perks Coffee to warm up, which is located right across from the fort and has a very good view of the coast. I keep hearing something in the wind. I keep coming back to you, my Are you warm enough now to go back out? Let's go. It was time to see why St. Augustine was so busy and popular during December. That night was the Christmas boat parade where boats are decorated with Christmas lights and float through the harbor. It was a very cute event and with Christmas music playing all over town, it was really good for getting in the Christmas spirit. In fact, the whole town goes all out decorating with Christmas lights. It was quite a beautiful scene. Time stops when we're alone. You got my love, don't let it go. Is it heavy? <laughs> Not paying for luggage, so so it's is it worth it? Okay. That brings us to the end of our time in St. Augustine. Let us know which of the places we visited was your favorite. And if you have been to St. Augustine, what else would you recommend for us to visit next time? Because we will definitely visit this quaint city again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more adventures and tips to travel. Thank you for watching, and see you next video. And now we're done with our trip to Orlando and Florida. So we'll see you guys in the next trip. See ya.